Oh yeah, okay. So this is the desktop for the Latte Panda. And when you first turn the computer on, it's going to boot into a version of Windows that's a little older than I originally thought it was gonna be. So it's an older version of Windows 10. Um, it's gonna right away go off and start downloading updates. And this is what you end up with after it downloads the updates. So a few things I had to do um, after the updates were downloaded. It took uh, quite, quite a while, right? I had it plugged in the Ethernet, so the speed was pretty good, but I had no hard drive space. I had like six, seven gigs when it was done. And I don't know if you guys know the secret, but, well, not really a secret, but it's a function where you can just right click on a drive and go to properties. And then there's an option called disk cleanup. And in here you'll have a list of all of the things that Windows can clean up but it's not going to show you Windows update history or anything to do with the operating system. So if you want to clean those up, you push this button here and you just wait. And this is going to scan the drive and it's going to find all of the stuff that Windows can clean up. So things like um, old Windows updates and uh, restore points and old drivers. Like it's gonna have a pretty big list. Now for us, it's not gonna have a big list because I've already done it. So there's no point to continue in this because I've already cleaned my drive up. So it's gonna be empty. So I'll just click cancel. But for you, select everything that's in there and then just say, yeah, so we have 16 gigs free. So that's pretty decent. Uh, there's something else you can do too. This is not an activated version of Windows. So there's some stuff you can't do in Windows, like for example, if you try to change your taskbar settings and things, you're not gonna have the ability to do that. So you need to activate it and pay if you wanted to. So I'm okay with it not being activated. But there will be one option if you click into here and go into your settings, type in storage, and you're gonna see this button here. And this is a really nice feature. I turn this on, it doesn't come on by default, but it should. It's called Storage Sense. And if you turn it on, it'll actually monitor your drive space and it'll delete all of those Windows updates and stuff for you. So it's super convenient, especially for something like this that doesn't have a lot of hard drive space. If you click on how we change, and in here you can specify how often it's gonna happen. So I've selected Windows Decides. I can make it one week if I wanted and that's going to be nice as well. And then your temporary folders, as, uh, temporary files as well, you can set that for whatever. So, But I'm going to only be using this, this device for Easy Builder. So it's not really going to end up with a lot of uh, hard drive space being used. Wow.